Welcome to my July calendar. It's my July fitness challenge calendar, which is my beach bum challenge. So this month you're going to focus on your glutes, your bum. And so we're going to do an exercise of cardio and then an exercise for your booty. So let's go. I'm going to start with week two or the first full week of the month. So the first two days we'll do 20 reps of the exercises. So we're going to start with week two, which is... 30 reps of everything. And we start with 30 reps of mountain climbers. Now again, you can modify this exercise or any of the exercises as needed. Okay, here we go. 30 mountain climbers. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Now you're going to come down on your knees. These are called rainbows. So what you do is you take your leg and you lift it up. And you're going to take it out to the side. And then you're going to make a nice big rainbow up and over here. That's one. Okay, so let's start that. So it's one, two, nice and high. Make that arc. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and... 30. Okay. I don't know about you, but I feel a burn in my bum. So imagine when we get to the last week, it's going to be a nice little fire. So again, we take the foot out to the side. We lift it up and over in, a arc, in an arc. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, <clears throat> fourteen. And if you feel this in your back, you can go down like this. Fifteen, okay? Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Good. Okay. You can stretch that, stretch that out a little bit. Our next exercise, this is the second day of the week, which would be Monday. <clears throat> Mondays, you do jumping jacks and then curtsy, lunge, and kicks on each leg. So let's start with the jumping jacks. 30 of them. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Excellent. So what you do is you take one leg behind. So let's say you take your right leg and you curtsy lunge like this and then you kick. Okay? So you want to make sure that you put your weight into the heel of the foot that's on the ground. Okay? Here we go. So you curtsy one, two, three. Get down that lunge nice and slow. Four. Five, 
six, seven, <clears throat> excuse me, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, <clears throat> twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Good. All right. I can tell from the little burn in my butt that sorry, my mouth is dry. At the end of this the tutorial, your bum might hurt a little bit from doing all of them in the row. Here we go. Other side. One. <clears throat> two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. <clears throat> excuse me. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. And 30. Excellent. Okay, moving on to the third day, which would be on Tuesdays, plank jacks and then deadlift kicks on each leg. So plank jacks, you're going to be down your hands. If for whatever reason you can't do to a wrist or a shoulder injury, you can do jumping jacks again, or you can do some other form of cardio. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Good. So a deadlift kick. I'm going to place one leg behind you. Okay? You're going to reach down. Whatever leg is back, that same hand is going to reach down. You want to make sure your abs are in and you you go forward with your back flat. Okay, you're gonna come down here in the deadlift, you're gonna kick and then come up. So it's, you're pushing back and into your heel. That's the stabilizing leg, the heel of the stabilizing leg. So here we go. One, all the way up. Two, all the way up. Three, four, Five, remember, tuck the pelvis and then flatten the back when you come down. Six, tuck it under. Seven, when you come up, tuck it, come all the way up. Eight, nine, this leg is straight, not hyperextended, but straight. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, <clears throat> fourteen, lean back and into the heel. 15, 16, 17, now to make this harder, you could have a weight in your hand, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24, 25, <clears throat> 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Excellent. Okay. Switch sides. So again, if you're feeling this in your back, you just need to pull your belly in, support it with the core. If you're feeling this in the back a lot and it's uncomfortable, you can switch to a squat and a kick or a squat and lift because that just means your core might not be strong enough to support you in this exercise and you don't want to obviously injure yourself. So modify, okay? So again, lean into that, that heel as we go down in front. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, all the way up, check that pelvis, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, one more, 30. Excellent. Okay. Moving on to day four, which is Wednesdays. So, step knee pull-ins each leg. So, if you go by a step in your house, stairs in your house, you're gonna step up and pull the knee in. Now, I only have, let me just pull it over here. Right now, I've actually got more risers coming because it's a little ridiculous. My clients can definitely do more than a step. But for today, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna use this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one foot on your step and you go to the bottom of your stairs or the second step if it's too light. Um, you can also do this on the floor, but you're gonna come here and you're gonna really quick pull that knee in, okay? Nice and quick. Um, you know, 30 reps might not be exhausting to you, but by the end of the month, you'll build up more. It's also, if you put your weight into your heel, it also gets into your butt, so it's a win-win. So, you can always, again, do this with your foot on the floor, nice and quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, good. Switch legs, bend forward, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Good. Just scooch this out of the way. And our next exercise is um, 30 resistance band leg presses. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a band and I've tied it up. Now, if you don't have a band at home that you can tie up, you can do this exercise without the band, okay? If you have a resistance tube, you can also take that around your leg and hold it in your hands. The only um, you know warning I give you is if it slides off the, the arch of your foot, it could smack you in the butt. So, you know, if that's something you're into, you know, go for it. So I'm just going to place the band around my feet, okay, my feet and not my ankles, okay? So we're going to take the band here, 
and we're going to extend the leg back. And again, if this bothers your back in any way, you can come down here, or if, you know, it's just preference. Right now, I'm just going to stay up so you can kind of see me better, and I'm going to pull it back straight, and then I'm going to lift it. So you pull it in, lift, in, lift. So there's not only straights, but it straightens, but it lifts. Okay? We're going to do 30 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good. Of course, you have to do that on the other leg. So, again, if your back bothers you, come on down here and stay up. You can just see me a little better. So, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good. Okay, you can set that band aside. And next on Thursday is we do 30 high knee jogs, or you can march it. So if you're, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it's allergies. Sorry, I'm clearing my throat a lot. It's just, you know. So if you're going to march it, you could just do one, two, like that. Okay, if you're gonna jog it, it's one and two and. You just do the best you can, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Excellent. We're gonna go on our side, on the ground, not on our side, but we're gonna go on our knee and you're gonna lift the leg to the side. So these are our side knee or kneeling leg lifts. I'll do the other one so you can do your right foot first. You're here like this. You can also be here, and if you need extra support, you can put your fingertips down. But I prefer you don't if you can't, if you can help it, because now you're rotating, and it's gonna get into a little bit different muscles, still the glutes, but now it's gonna get more into your psoas, which is a deep muscle here, and things like that, and I really want you to open up, okay? Again, if you've got a shoulder injury or a wrist injury and you need to come down lower, that's fine. If you need to come all the way down here and lift like this, that's fine too. There's a way you can modify. <clears throat> here we go. One, flex the foot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, okay? 30 is not too bad. You get down to 60, and then you're really gonna feel it in your butt. Like I said too, on the sheet, you can do these multiple times a day. If you want to, do them in the morning, do them at night, you know? Really get that booty going. Here we go. One, flex the foot, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Excellent. So on Fridays, what you're gonna be doing are 30 squats, 
and 30 skater jumps. So 30 squats. So I put the jumps, the cardio is the second exercise, but it's going to be a little slower cardio. So we're going to do squats first. And I want you to sit way back in your heels. You don't have to squat super, super low. I don't want you going, I don't want your butt dropping below your knees on this one. You simply squat to a 90 degree angle and then you push through your heels and come back up. Okay, so we're going to take them nice and slow so you feel that burn in your butt. So it's one, two, three, four. Look at the placement of my feet. Five, and my toes are forward. Six, sitting way back. Seven, eight, tuck the pelvis under here. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, so the skater jumps, excuse me, just a little parch. The skater jumps are... When you cross, when you jump to the side, and if you can't jump to the side, that's okay. You jump to the side, and then you cross, and you reach down. Now, the most important part is the crossing of the leg behind. Then you get right into your bum. So if you're not crossing, then you're not getting into your bum, which is the whole point of the exercise. So if you can't jump and stabilize, then don't jump. I'd rather you step to the side and cross behind. Okay? And if you read in the notes at the bottom of the calendar, it says one jump plus one you know, one jump, then the other side equals one rep. Now, when you get down to 60, that's going to be a lot. So I hope that you'll try and do that. But if not, you just do what you can do. Okay. So we're going to jump to the side. That's one. Got it. Two, cross, three, cross, four, cross, five, cross, six. As I Hold my arm up seven. Your balance should be improved. Eight, nine, ten. Cross that back. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Good. Okay. The last day on Saturdays, you're going to be doing butt kicks and then single leg bridges on each leg. So 30 butt kicks. So we stand up. And instead of the high knee jogs, which the legs come in front, you're going to do butt kicks where you kind of lean forward and the leg comes up here. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Excellent. Now, with the single leg bridges, you can easily just put your foot on the floor and do the bridge. Now, if you've got a ball or a BOSU or something, you want to step it up or put your foot on step, you know, that's fine. So let me just real quick demonstrate. So if you're doing them on the floor, you're just pressing up and down. Now, if that's too much, you keep both feet down and lift like this, you would just do a double. Whatever the number is, you would do double. So 30, you would actually do 60. Now, if you've got a ball and you want to try with the ball or a BOSU or a step, you put that foot on the object, arms are out to the side or wherever's comfortable, and you lift up and down. Now, obviously, you'll get deeper into your butt, 
So it's a little bit more challenging. You decide where you are. Maybe towards the end of the month, you try stepping it up, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Pull the belly in as you lift. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, switch legs. Here we go. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Nice job. Okay, that's the end of the tutorial for the July Beach Bum calendar. I suggest that you um, watch the tutorial, make sure you're doing it correctly. You can do, stop and pause the videos for every day. I encourage you to challenge yourself to get that nice beach booty. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. I have plenty of videos. I typically put out one every weekend. And if you're looking for something along the lines of cardio, weights, abdominals, something that targ targets your biceps, your triceps, I've got everything for you covered. I especially have no equipment workouts that are great for travel on your summer vacation. So I hope you check out my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye.